This video will explain how to organize tests into a single batch run with TestComplete. In many cases, it's much more convenient to create smaller tests for each feature in your application rather than creating one giant test for the whole app. Large tests tend to be difficult to maintain and modify, so you can create smaller tests for individual pieces of your testing and organize them into a test battery that will execute each individual operation in sequence. So, TestComplete allows you to create batch runs by using your project's test items panel. And these can be any item that lives inside your test complete project. They can be a keyword test, a script routine, a unit test, and so on. I have a test project here that works with our sample orders application. And I have a number of different tests here that perform different actions in my application, like launching the application, creating an order, editing an order, etc. And what I want to do is chain those individual pieces together so that they form a more cohesive test. So to do that, what I'm going to do is click on this Organize Tests button, and this opens the Test Items page of my project editor. So now we drag the tests from the tree here onto this palette, and then they will be run in the order that we specify. So I can just drag these right on here. Now you can also right-click on this panel and select New Test Item, and then click this Ellipses button to browse out to the test that you want to run. So in this case I'm going to have it run the closing the orders application. Okay, so now we've only added keyword tests at this point. We can also add script-based tests simply by clicking on this Code Explorer button right here. That gives you this list of all of our script-based tests and I can just call those the same way, just drag those right onto my grid. Now on this page you can also edit the test items properties. For instance, you can rename an item so that it makes a little more sense. I'm just going to press F2 here and we'll call this you know, Launch Orders App. We can change the total number of times a test gets performed by updating this count property. We can specify the maximum execution time for a test in minutes. And we can specify parameters for our tests if necessary. So right here I can put in all the information that's needed for our create a new order test right here. And now when that test runs, we're going to pass in those values. Now remember that the order of the test items that show up on the panel here is important because it defines the order in which the test items will be executed. And these items can be organized in a tree-like structure where child items get executed after their parent item is finished. So as an example, we can make this edit the order test a child of the create an order test. And we can also drag tests to become child items as well. To exclude a test from a batch run, simply clear its box. And now those tests, projects items 6 and 8, will not be executed when we run the project. For better organization of test batches, you can organize test items into groups. To create a group, right-click within the test item page and choose New Group. The group gets added to the page, and to rename it, you can just highlight it, press F2, and then give it a more descriptive name. In this case, I'm going to call this the Check Data Group. And then to add items into this group, all you have to do is just drag them right down onto it, just like this. Okay, and when you uncheck a groups box, all the corresponding items that live inside that will be prevented from being run as well. Okay, now let's run the project. So to do that, we're just going to click this Run Project button. And now, when we do this, Test Complete's going to fire off and it's going to run all those tests in sequence, one right after the other. And as it does, it's going to post all the actions that it's performing into the Test Complete log file. Okay, and now our tests have finished running. You can see we've got the log file that's being displayed. What you can do here is you can actually see when we had multiple iterations of a test being run, Test Complete notes that in the log file so you can see how many times a particular test was run and the results within a given iteration. This concludes our video on organizing test runs into batches using Test Complete. Now, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact us at sales at automatedqa.com or support at automatedqa.com. We wish you luck and hope you enjoy automating your tests with TestComplete.